Morning, day three. We woke up and there was snow here. Found this little uh, rest stop. I think that might be part of Breckenridge over there, but I'm not positive. I know we already went through Vail. There's a lot of snow for the end of May. And when we got here last night, it was freezing. So it's kind of early. We woke up at like seven, making some sandwiches right now. The avocado in the morning. Yep. Hit the road. Go visit my mom. Maybe see what's up with these ski towns. It's not too cold right now either. It's, it's nice. It's just crazy. They must have had a, so much snow up here. So that's all untouched over there. I wish I had my snowboard. Mom, I had to hold it so I could go in the bathroom. Yeah, there was no rest stop for 80 miles, or no, no gas station, no service. Yeah, like 84 miles. Yeah. I thought I was going to pass out. I don't even know the last time I've had to hold my pee We looked at the last gas station and then we just passed it and kept going. And I thought I could kind of hold it, yep. but then it was way too long. And I was miserable. But you made it. Yeah. And you're here. <laughs> Got my morning watermelon juice. 8.27 a.m. right now. Which I normally do. I haven't ate this early in a while, but I feel like I expended so much energy yesterday doing all that crazy stuff. I'm, I woke up so hungry, so I'm just drinking it now. Yep. <clears throat> yesterday was a long day. We did so much in 48 hours. Seriously. I posted it all on my story, so if you're not following me or Devin on Instagram, you should. And I'll leave our links in the description box below or on the screen here for you. And you can see more of all the stuff that we did yesterday. I posted some really cool stories. It's crazy we went from mountains in Utah to the mountains in Colorado. I know, I wish I had a snowboard. He's like a, a pro snowboarder, huh? <laughs> no, oh, yeah. he, he's really good though. I hiked up there. <laughs> My body is feeling it from yesterday. I feel like I could sleep for five more hours. <laughs> I don't know if the sleeping in the car is catching up to me or what. All right. My hair still feels really clean from getting in the water yesterday. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't feel dirty at all. That was so nice. Painfully cold, but it felt refreshing. <laughs> feels weird. It feels like we're kind of having a lazy day compared to all the stuff we just did. It was so much in rushing and now it's like we kind of have like downtime. We needed it. We're here at the premium outlets just seeing what's open and everything. We ran into TJ Maxx and then we went into a place called Sierra and we were trying to find some hiking sandals. We found the brand we like, which is, I don't know the correct way you say it, so it's either Chacos, I think it's Chacos, and we both found some, but they were one size too small, and they were on clearance for like 40 bucks. I'm going to be more stores. We're on the hunt for some good hiking sandals. Boots are not the move when there's creeks and no. water. When you're crossing all these creeks, you got these 
clunky hiking boots on, which are great for normal hikes. But when you're going through these streams and it's so much extra time taking your shoes off, putting them back on, and then crossing another stream, having to do it all over again, you just really need the hiking sandals. And we saw a lot of people when we were in Utah that had them and we were like, wow, we're rookies. So we need to hop on the hiking sandal game. I'm just going with the flow today, aren't we? About to get out of the car and stretch our legs. Kind of tired. Yeah. Well, we probably didn't go to bed till almost 3 a.m. last night. And got up at like... Well, I got up probably around 7.30. You probably got up at like 7. And it's actually really nice here today. Pretty warm. I was surprised. I thought I'd be freezing. It is so crazy going from Utah mountains to Colorado mountains. <laughs> mm -hmm. In less than 24 hours. Why does it stop smoking? We're a little smoky. Yeah. Look at that view though. I don't know if you guys can see that sunset, but it is incredible. Let's see if I can zoom in. Looks like the mountains are on fire. I don't know why it's smoking like this. Maybe shut the door behind you. So we made it to Colorado Springs. Oh, this is not going to be tall enough for you. Man. We made it to Colorado Springs after being in Castle Rock for a little bit, hitting up the malls, whatnot. Some of it was closed, so we ended up finishing the drive over here in Colorado Springs where Devin's mother lives. So we're visiting her for the time being, spending some right family there. time. Yeah, she's actually right there. That's Cindy. <laughs> yeah, my brother's... Uh... He's trying to get his pilot's license right now, so he's at some kind of night class, but we're grilling. Yeah. We went and got How a bunch of food, food today, and um, we're both really tired, but we're just trying to hang oh, yeah. on so we can get a good night, night's sleep, and I'll probably hang with my, my brother for a little bit, and then... Yeah, we're just cooking for everyone a nice family meal. Yeah, we've just been kind of chilling all day. Yeah, we're just very tired, and then using this time basically to slow down a little bit before we pick up the speed again and continue on our travel. And yeah. of course, you get to visit your mom. Yeah, and the second part of the trip may not be as crazy or could be even more crazy because I think we're gonna just go with the flow because we don't really know what to do. So we're just gonna kind of do some research online and try to make it work and figure out, you know, how much time we have but also give ourselves enough time to, you know, stop at a couple, couple different places. So. Yeah, try to relax this today and tomorrow. Maybe use something here in the springs and then back to it on Saturday. Yep. Didn't get everybody in here. You can't oh. just have me in here. Like, oh, you're beasting. So. Dinner is ready. Yes. Serving the plates for everyone. For Devin's brother and his girlfriend. Beer? What is this beer, by the way? It's good. Care of power? Yeah. <sighs> oh. Chino. Right. May 22nd. Second day at my mom's. We might go explore a little bit of the springs today if something's open. I need to finish. I need to juice. She got juice or watermelon. I might make some chili later. What else do I need? Oh, we're about to do some laundry. I cleaned my mason jars yesterday. Got my watermelon juice with them. And it was nice to stay in a bed last night. 
slept for like 10 hours. One more good night of sleep, then back on the road. Early tomorrow. Yep, early tomorrow, and then. In Texas, we got Yeah, all new uh, territory for us, so. Well, we're gonna see what that's all about. But right, now we're gonna get this breakfast going. My coffee's ready. And I'll see you guys soon. Just got kind of ready. And we're gonna go to this spot called Manitou Springs. What all is there? Um, it's like an old downtown. Like 20 minutes outside of Colorado Springs. So we just got to Manitou Springs and it's really, really nice out. And I think we're about to check out this arcade. Everything is open right now, it's super cute vibe. So what made you first think of this? Were you just doing like a detox and you're like, actually I feel really good from it? Um, I was just researching a whole bunch and just kind of just started following it and just listened to my body, you know. It's definitely not easy though. It's no. Hard work. Yeah. But she was like, one of the most powerful mammoths is a silverback gorilla. And it's like all, yeah. it only eats like fruit or like veggie plants. You know, it's this 300 pound gorilla. So. Yep. Yeah, the only part not fun about it is it's just a little messy. Yeah. I usually have like towels down or whatnot, but I don't know where all our stuff is. Yeah. There's towels underneath the sink in the bathroom where you guys are. How long do these keep though? I guess because it's fruity, you have to probably kind of have it on the quicker um, side, huh? Usually I, I wouldn't go past four days. That's when you would probably get the most nutrients out of it. But I mean, you can go up to a week. As long as they're these airtight and the fridge they seal really good, you know? yeah. And we, I've been keeping them all like ice cold in the cooler, so mm -hmm. keep that cooler for the ice. Looks like you guys do this together regularly. You got a system. We have been. You ever eat these, Dad? I got extra. Can't be that bad. Think of the scraps. Watermelon is better than some of those. I've had some weird ones where it's like very veggie. Like, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, like Sometimes I'll make my own. Uh, the juice I tried the lemon. whole. Yeah, I tried the whole celery juice. Yeah. Well, this time is gonna be mad. Yeah. But then my breakfast is prepared for me every day. Yeah. Okay. Round two. Yeah. <laughs> Sliding up to the trash. What you got up going on over there? I get some lemon water. Chili. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cutting up this onion is making me cry. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. 
teamwork. I like yes. this. <laughs> Many chefs in the Mince kitchen. Garlic. <laughs> Reaching the top with the tank. Oh yeah. shoot, yeah, I didn't think. Yeah. Making Devin's famous chili for tonight's dinner for everyone. Huh. What do you always make? I wanted to know this recipe for years. <laughs> you found out that secret ingredient. Let's see where we're at. Cut the pepper. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Deep into them. I used to do all the time when I was younger. Well, last time I got here to see mom, we did Pikes Peak. We just got to this little lookout spot that Devin's brother Brandon has taken us to. Like a little local thing. Like if you come to Colorado, you probably don't know about it. So we're catching a little sunset in Colorado for our last night here at this cute little lookout spot. OJ, I got my blueberries and raspberries, and two tubs of cherries. Mm -hmm. 